So what are you gonna think to yourself when I say this ax is gonna split this log? Probably not gonna happen, right? This log's just too big and it's not gonna work. My ax isn't large enough. It's not really a splitting type ax or maul. So how are we gonna do that? What if we had to split out even a larger log? Something like this. What if we had to split that out? We don't have metal wedges and um, we just need that split out. We need to make boards or we wanna make something and we don't have our bigger ax. It's definitely doable, it's not ideal, but it's doable. I'm gonna show you right now. So just to put this into context, I think it's important because um, there's gonna be a couple questions asked about this. Number one, why would you have to split bigger logs out? Well, maybe you're working on a project or you realize when you backpacked into camp that you didn't want to carry that big ax and then you want to make a bench and you think it would be cool or whatever the reason. Or in my case, recently I was out on a scout and I got to an area that I wanted to make a fire and there was a ton of cut up wood because they were logging an area, but they were large logs that I just could not split my small ax. And I thought, ah, this stuff would be great to stockpile. So how can I split it out? And that's what we're going to look at. All right, so step one, we're just going to make some gluts, AKA wooden wedges. Now that our gluts are made, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna examine the wood. We're gonna check if there is any checks or cracks in the wood that we can utilize to expose its weakness. In this case, nothing, okay? Absolutely nothing. The other thing that we also wanna look at for this technique is the wood itself. So I am using a smaller piece here for a demo, but if I was using something larger like I had at the beginning of the video, I wanna make sure that it's not all gnarly and grainy and twisted. We wanna to try to get nice straight grain wood for this. So depending what you find, okay, out in the woods or something that you pre-cut up and realize that you didn't bring your bigger ax in the split, um, you're gonna to have to maybe avoid this process. But if you have nice straight grain wood, you're gonna be good to go. So step one is that we are going to take our ax and we're gonna to start to baton it across the face of this piece of wood. This is gonna create a score line that we are gonna utilize here in a little bit. Now one thing not to be afraid is to go back and forth a few times on this score line. That is gonna be somewhat important. We need to make a good deep score line in order to get those wooden wedges started. Okay, so you can see I made my score line, which is nice and deep at this point. Once I knew it was deep enough and I felt that it was good enough, I'm gonna to come to the edge of the piece of wood and I'm gonna to start to hammer my ax in there. What that's gonna do is that's gonna to start to open up that score line a little bit more, okay? This is the process now that you have to watch and listen what's happening. So as I begin to drive my ax down into the side, you're gonna hear it start to open up this line a little bit more. All right, as these checks start to open up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to put our wooden wedge in place. Now this is gonna take a little bit of patience and a little bit of muscle to get that thing started. Okay, so what I did now was I found another log out here in the woods and I placed this on top. So this bottom log is acting like an anvil just because the ground's muddy. So as I put a lot of force on here, it's gonna drive the bigger log down in the ground. If we can avoid that, all the better. Take my baton and start to work this big wooden glut down inside, okay? As I do that, I'm also going to work my ax in a little bit further. This should start to open up my score line more and more. At this point though, I realize everything's starting to get jammed up a little bit. So I'm gonna remove my ax and I'm gonna place my next glut where my ax was. Now I'm gonna to come to the other side of the log. Again, same as this side. And I'm gonna to start to work my ax bit in.
And just like that, that piece of wood is split out perfectly just where I would want it. So honestly, who would have thought that little trapper's hatchet was gonna split out a big log like that? Definitely doable, and definitely a skill you're gonna want for your toolbox. Maybe you'll never use it, maybe you'll use it all the time, but either way, now you have it, thanks to Coal Cracker. <laughs> So I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Again, add it to your toolbox, you'll be good to go. Also, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for all our school, merchandise, blog, all that good stuff. And um, until next video, stay in the woods with your little hatchet doing all your big work.